Don't forget to like comment, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Connect Plus Discuss What are the people doing? How are they helping the environment? Match a verb and a noun with each photograph. Then listen and check. A. Plant trees. B. Pick up rubbish. C. Reuse mobile phones. D. Install solar panels. E. Save wildlife. F. Recycle plastic bottles. Listen and complete the sentences with the correct form of these verbs to say what is going to happen. 1. Oh no! Look at the time! It's nine o'clock! Come on, quick! Two. Oh, the water's a bit cold at first, but it's lovely! Come on, Huda! Come and join me! OK, I'm coming! Three. <laughs> Four. We are now approaching Station Square. Is this our stop? Yes, it is. Come on. Five. And they're near the finishing line now. And suddenly, Farida seems to be running faster. Nothing can stop her now. Just look at her go. Six. <sighs> oh, I'm tired. And it's only nine o'clock. Yes, but you've got school in the morning, Omur. You're right. Good night, Mum. Good night, Ola. Listen to a radio program about beautiful places in the world and check your answers to exercise four. Wadi Rum is a large area of desert in the south of Jordan. It's a very beautiful place with mountains, desert plants and wildlife. Unfortunately, Wadi Rum has some environmental problems. Tourists help the local people make money. But when tourists go trekking in the desert, they often leave rubbish too. Some tourists drive across the desert in cars. They don't use roads or paths, but drive wherever they want to. And this can damage plants and wildlife. The hotels use lots of water, which can be a problem in the desert. But they are building new hotels, so even more tourists will go there. Another big problem is hunters who kill the desert animals. They shouldn't do this, but there aren't enough people to stop them. There is much less wildlife now than in the past. And soon, there won't be any. Exercise 6. Listen to the program again and complete the table. Wadi Rum is a large area of desert in the south of Jordan. It's a very beautiful place 
with mountains, desert plants, and wildlife. Unfortunately, Wadi Rum has some environmental problems. Tourists help the local people make money, but when tourists go trekking in the desert, they often leave rubbish too. Some tourists drive across the desert in cars. They don't use roads or paths, but drive wherever they want to, and this can damage plants and wildlife. The hotels use lots of water, which can be a problem in the desert. But they are building new hotels, so even more tourists will go there. Another big problem is hunters who kill the desert animals. They shouldn't do this, but there aren't enough people to stop them. There is much less wildlife now than in the past, and soon there won't be any. Exercise two: Listen to a science teacher talking about drones. And check your answers to exercise one. Drones can fly, but they don't need a person to fly them. We can use remote control. This means we can control drones from the ground. In the future, drones are going to help solve some environmental problems. Really? How can we do that? Well, companies are going to use drones a lot. Instead of lorries to make deliveries, this is going to help the environment because drones don't make much noise, and they don't cause as much air pollution as lorries. That's interesting. Yes, and we are also going to use drones to help wildlife. Drones can fly over places where people can't go. We can see if there are any problems. For example, we can use drones to help save wildlife after floods or fires. Can they help people too? Of course, we can send drones to dangerous places. For example, we are starting to use drones to check wind turbines. This is not an easy job. Wind energy is much better for the environment and makes less pollution. We can even use drones to plant trees. Drones can drop seeds onto the ground in places that people can't go to, and they don't need to stop and have a rest. Exercise three: Listen again and answer the questions. Drones can fly. But they don't need a person to fly them. We can use remote control. This means we can control drones from the ground. In the future, drones are going to help solve some environmental problems. Really? How can we do that? Well, companies are going to use drones a lot instead of lorries to make deliveries. This is going to help the environment. Because drones don't make much noise, and they don't cause as much air pollution as lorries. That's interesting. Yes, and we are also going to use drones to help wildlife. Drones can fly over places where people can't go. We can see if there are any problems. For example. We can use drones to help save wildlife after floods or fires. Can they help people too? Of course, we can send drones to dangerous places. For example, we are starting to use drones to check wind turbines. This is not an easy job. Wind energy is much better for the environment and makes less pollution. We can even use drones to plant trees. Drones can drop seeds onto the ground in places that people can't go to, and they don't need to stop and have a rest.
Exercise 3. Listen and complete Khaled's diary. It's 12 o'clock on Saturday, but I'm going to be busy for the next few days. So what am I doing? This evening, I'm going to the theatre to see a play. Then tomorrow, I'm playing basketball in the park. The day after tomorrow, I'm helping my uncle in his shop after school. Then, next Saturday, we're taking my cousins to the desert. That should be fun. But I'm really looking forward to our holidays. We're flying to Greece, but that's in nine days' time. I can't wait. Ooh. Listen to three teenagers making arrangements. Which two of the activities from exercise one do they talk about? Hi, Amir. What are you doing this afternoon? I'm going rock climbing. There is a special activity for beginners. Would you like to come? I don't know. Rock climbing looks a bit scary to me. Are you going, Nassar? Yes. I've always wanted to learn rock climbing. Oh, come on. Don't be afraid, Amir. Actually, I can't come this afternoon. I'm helping my father with something. Oh, how about tomorrow afternoon instead? There's another rock climbing activity then at the same time. OK, I'll come. You're right. It might be fun. Also, I wanted to ask you something. Are you and Nassar free this evening? I think so. Why? Dad is going to take me stargazing into the desert with my brother Rami and Uncle Sami, and he said I could invite you too. Oh, thank you. We'd love to come. Wouldn't we, Nasser? I'd love to go to the desert at night. Is your brother Rami going? No, he doesn't want to. He thinks he'd get cold and bored. Well, I think it sounds really exciting. Great. We're meeting outside my house at half past ten. See you then. Exercise 3. Listen again and answer the questions. Hi, Amir. What are you doing this afternoon? I'm going rock climbing. There is a special activity for beginners. Would you like to come? I don't know. Rock climbing looks a bit scary to me. Are you going, Nassar? Yes. I've always wanted to learn rock climbing. Oh, come on. Don't be afraid, Amir. Actually, I can't come this afternoon. I'm helping my father with something. Oh... How about tomorrow afternoon instead? There's another rock climbing activity then at the same time. OK, I'll come. You're right, it might be fun. Also, I wanted to ask you something. Are you and Nassar free this evening? I think so. Why? Dad is going to take me stargazing into the desert with my brother Rami and Uncle Sami, and he said I could invite you, too. Oh, thank you. We'd love to come. Wouldn't we, Nasa? I'd love to go to the desert at night. Is your brother Rami going? No, he doesn't want to. He thinks he'd get cold and bored. Well, I think it sounds really exciting. Great. We're meeting outside my house at half past ten. See you then. Exercise 4. Listen again and put these phrases in the order that you hear them. Hi, Amir. What are you doing this afternoon? I'm going rock climbing. There is a special activity for beginners. Would you like to come? I don't know. Rock climbing looks a bit scary to me. Are you going, Nassar? Yes. 
I've always wanted to learn rock climbing. Oh, come on. Don't be afraid, Amir. Actually, I can't come this afternoon. I'm helping my father with something. Oh, how about tomorrow afternoon instead? There's another rock climbing activity then at the same time. OK, I'll come. You're right, it might be fun. Also, I wanted to ask you something. Are you and Nassar free this evening? I think so. Why? Dad is going to take me stargazing into the desert with my brother Rami and Uncle Sami, and he said I could invite you too. Oh, thank you. We'd love to come. Wouldn't we, Nasser? I'd love to go to the desert at night. Is your brother Rami going? No, he doesn't want to. He thinks he'd get cold and bored. Well, I think it sounds really exciting. Great. We're meeting outside my house at half past ten. See you then. The Red Sea is very important. People visit from around the world to go diving. The Red Sea is the home to many different types of wildlife, such as fish, turtles and birds. The Red Sea also has many coral reefs. Coral reefs are important because lots of underwater animals live here, like this shark. But many coral reefs around the world are in danger. They are dying and turning white. Some scientists think that they are going to disappear because the water in our seas is getting warmer. The seawater is going to be too hot for coral reefs to grow in the future. There are environmental problems too. Plastic pollution is damaging the reefs. There are conservation groups that want to help the world's coral reefs. One of these is the Red Sea Environment Centre in Egypt. Divers go to the coral reefs in the Red Sea twice a year to see what is happening to them. The coral reefs in the Red Sea and all around the world are beautiful. Let's look after them. If we don't, we are going to lose them.